After an 0-3 start, the Citadel Bulldogs made the trip up I-26 to Orangeburg tonight to face SC State, hoping to give head coach Maurice Drayton his first win. Drayton and Buddy Pugh chatting before the game. Remember, Drayton was on Pugh's staff in Orangeburg in the 2008-2009 season. Baptist Hill alum Corey Fields of SC State first quarter fires to Justin Smith-Brown. Brown does the rest. 25 yards for the score. The homestanding Bulldogs up 7-0. Second quarter now. Fields again, but he will be picked off by Goose Creek's Melvin Ravenel right there. And Melvin is going the other way. Streaks down the sideline all the way down to the SC State 39-yard line, but the Citadel had to settle for a field goal, 7-3 SC State. On the next drive, Fields redeems himself. He hits Keyshawn Tony for the touchdown, and it's 14-3 SC State. There's the score. He breaks the plane. Third quarter, Fields again finding Smith Brown again. This will be their second pitch and catch TD of the night. 21-3 SC State, the final 31-10. The homestanding Bulldogs pick up their first win while the Citadel falls to 0-4. Here's Dan Fanning with more from Orangeburg. Mark, in Coach Drayton's weekly press conference this past Monday, he talked about getting off to a better start, something that has hampered the Dogs in their previous three defeats. They said they would get off the bus here in Orangeburg and ready to roll. But for a fourth straight game, the offense stuck in park as they're still trying to get the offense going. As I spoke earlier in the week, I spoke about how our program and what we teach mirrors life, right? So, no, we're not discouraged. What we have to do is bow our back, and fight. It feels great, man, because we've gone on three games. We had a rough three games. So getting out here and be able to score some points on the front of offense and help defense out is a great feeling. I'm happy with the fact that we won the game, but at the same time, I'm a little bit hurt because a friend of mine got beat tonight. And, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff is, uh, you know, it's stuff that you really, you know, continue to kind of work with. As for the morale of this team, Coach Drayton said they feed off him. He is not giving up, neither will they. He said he will get this turned around believe that. We'll see what happens next week when Western Carolina comes to Johnson Haygood. Reporting here in Orangeburg, Dan Fanning, News 2 Sports.